This is an unboxing of a telescope. Let's see what's inside. Okay, it's well packed. Look, meter after meter of the stuff. Oh, there must be something inside this. What is this? Oh, star diagonal. That's lovely. Good long screws. Okay, let's see what is this one. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Let me just, I need two hands. Okay, this is a Konos uh, dust shield. And that is a telescope, 80 millimeter F4. That means it's a very wide angle telescope. And this is metal. Lovely. There was something inside it. Let me open this one. Okay, oh, one eyepiece. Quite heavy. That's 25 millimeter orthoscopic. Fully coated 1.4. Oh, that's really good. Heavy. Quite heavy. It's made of glass, not plastic. And this is a 2x Barlow lens. And also this one is heavy. Oh, I'm getting excited. What is this? Must be a finder scope. Yeah, I'm right. It's a beautiful finder scope. Uh, probably uh, 20 by something. The length of the width of the diameter of this main lens is 20. Anyway, good lens. Now we come to the most important point optical tube, assembly tube. Oh, look at that. That's a glass of it. That's a Konos telescope. It has a dovetail bracket, it seems can be attached to any telescope doft with a doft wix and dovetail bracket okay let me all put together oh before that there is another thing here what is this oh it's a finder holder that's lovely yeah a nice item okay anything else thick form of the bottom protecting it, very well packed. I'm really impressed. Okay, this is the whole telescope in separate parts. There's a Konos 80mm f4, very wide angle telescope. I bought it from an auction site for £37, the price of a hardback book in these days. And uh, really impressed. I will test it and I will report about how it feels. But so far so good. Let me assemble it. Okay, this is the Konos. This is a Konos uh, wide-angle telescope. Everything is made of metal. Nothing plastic here, except this part in the star diagonal, which is normal. Everything else is metal, and also the knob is plastic also. And uh, yeah, for thirty-seven pound, I think that's a good deal. It's a good telescope. Grab and go. Um, a lot of things you can do with this. If you attach a CCD to this, <laughs> you practically will be an observatory in action. <laughs> the image this telescope is upright. Technical difficulties, I have to turn it over. But to fit the image inside the frame of the uh, YouTube. Okay, I'm using now the Konos uh, telescope on a very close target. I change the focus and you can see that can clearly and the leaves on the ground. The distance is around uh, yeah, 10 meter. And I change the focus, you can see the leaves which have been eaten by the beetle. And if I focus more, you can see what is beyond that. 
in the in the beyond the fence you can see the snow you can see the corrugated uh, material some corrugated material you can see some decking board you can see the fence definitely and now I change the focus again back to the leaves and go on the plant um, the only thing is that the dovetail of it is not long enough so I have to just adjust it in one point if I change that I may be able actually to use it in a better way uh, I'm using the Altair um, universal uh, mobile phone holder and I can say that this is really working well the optics is very good it had uh, chromatic aberration what I've done is that I added the uh, semi oppo or filter to this but the semi oppo filter so it gives really removes almost all the chromatic aberration I may get a few more of this just to add to the other eyepieces that I have I'm changing the focus you can see the coke uh, written on that the volume also is written Beautiful. Now I'm changing focus to pick the leaves. Yeah, you see the leaves there. Okay, that was the setup I was using with this conoscope. As you can see, it is attached to the eyepiece. I must say this orthoscopic 25 millimeter is better than a mid 26 millimeter. Perfect. Uh, I'm now a fan of orthos. And this is a telescope as I've attached to this uh, mount for the uh, um, Skywatcher Heritage Virtuoso Maxis of Cassegrain mount. It's, uh, it's not a go-to, but it, you can attach a, a handset to it, make it go-to. It tracks the sidereal movement of the objects in the sky. And as you can see, the distance can point now to that can. So I can pick it here. Barely visible at the center, if you can see. The camera cannot really show it as good as the telescope. Now, I go back to the setup. So I'm really a fan of this uh, Altair mobile phone holder, universal mobile phone holder. Beautiful, easy to set up. Just if you can balance it, that will be perfect on your telescope. You have to do it in the light, then take it to the dark. You can attach it to the, uh, your eyepiece, then take it to the um, yeah, eyepiece barrel and just insert it there.